Thank you Stefano Stavros for um, joining us in the Autumn Academy 2017 and uh, for uh, presenting uh, the ACRI recommendations on firewalls uh, for irregular migrants. Would you please sum up for us the key points of your uh, presentation today? Well, thank you for, first of all for inviting me here and I would like to congratulate you on the excellent organization of this uh, seminar. ECRI's general policy recommendation is about preventing discrimination against irregular migrants. It is based on the idea that irregular migrants have human rights and uh, it is looking for ways in which exercising these human rights can be made possible. The idea is quite simple that people should be allowed to come into contact with the authorities that manage these uh, social human rights uh, and complain about the enjoyment of these human rights without risking immediate expulsion. How can we achieve that? Is by creating a firewall between the authorities that provide human rights and law enforcement. The authorities that provide human rights should be prevented from communicating information about irregular migrants who approach these authorities in order to enjoy their human rights or who approach these authorities in order to complain about their human rights. And um, do you think that firewalls are an impediment to expulsions? Do they go against the need to return irregular migrants of immigration enforcement authorities or they are not such an obstacle? There is no hidden agenda behind the general policy recommendation of ECRI. The recommendation itself speaks about expulsions. For example, when people are returned, they should be able to cash in on social security benefits that they have accumulated through working. Uh, we are aware of the fact that some expulsions might be made a little bit more difficult, but we are prepared to accept this because the price to pay for not allowing irregular migrants to enjoy some basic social rights is enormous. There is a very big price to pay in terms of racism, in terms of creating a climate of suspicion that also affects regular migrants, and also there is a big price to pay in terms of not allowing the authorities that administer social rights to do their job properly. So I think that what can be gained from few more expulsions has to be counterbalanced against this quite big price that we have to pay in terms of racism, in terms of lack of efficiency in providing services, in terms of a negative climate for regular migrants. But also what we must bear in mind is that the way that we treat irregular migrants has to do with this concept of dignity. What we are prepared to accept in European societies as the minimum treatment that we want everybody who lives together with us to be able to enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you.